In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly to fill the hearts which thou Send forth thy spirit and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant us by the same spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. Act of contrition. My, My God, God, I, I believe, believe in thee. thee. I, I hope, hope in thee. thee. I, I love thee above all things, things with all my soul. soul. With, with all, all my heart and with all my strength, strength. I, love I love thee because thou art infinitely, infinitely good and worthy of being loved, loved. And, and because I love thee I repent, repent with all my heart of having, having offended, offended thee. thee have mercy, mercy on, on me a sinner. sinner amen for the intentions of the holy father our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end Amen Invocations to Our Lady We, we fly, fly to, to thy patronage, patronage O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God, of God. Despise, Despise not, not our petitions, petitions in our necessities, necessities but, but ever deliver, deliver us from, from all, all dangers, dangers O glorious, o glorious and, and blessed Virgin O Mother of Perpetual Succor Thou whose very name inspires confidence Help me O loving Mother that I may love and serve God with all my heart. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may never neglect prayer. Help me, O loving Mother. In temptations against the holy virtue or purity. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may quickly rise again should I have the misfortune to fall into sin. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may labor zealously to get rid of my sinful habits. Help me, O loving Mother. That I may courageously resist the seductions of the world, evil companions, bad books and films help me O loving mother that I may often and devoutly receive the sacraments and fulfill my Christian duties and the duties of my state help me O loving mother that I may be patient and resigned in all trials and troubles of life help me O loving mother in sickness and pain in poverty and distress help me O loving mother that I may not delay my conversion from day to day help me O loving mother that I may ever love and serve thee and invoke thy assistance help me O loving mother that I may be able to lead others to love serve and pray to thee help me O loving mother when death is near and I am about to pass into eternity help me O loving mother to my last hour to my last breath do thou watch over me help me O loving mother pray for us the mother of perpetual succor that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ let us pray almighty, almighty and merciful, and merciful God, God who in order, order to assist the human, human race, race has will the blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary to, to become, become the, the mother, mother of thy, thy only begotten, begotten Son, Son 
grant we beseech thee that by her intercession we may avoid the contagion of sin and serve thee with a pure heart for the sake of Christ our Lord. Amen. Summary of petitions and thanksgiving. Thanksgiving are blessed with job here and abroad for a successful new operation, for getting a job promotion, for receiving all payments, for getting eligibility for MDS admission, for all favors and blessings received. The petitions for a successful surgery of a replacement of knees, for a person depression due to unsuccessful job interviews, for sale of property and disputed property matters, to clear financial debts, money held back with builders since 10 years, for a lady suffering from gout and corns in her foot, for a healthy child and a normal safe delivery, for those appearing for various institute exams, for a suitable life partner, for jobs in India and abroad and visas, to get a house within a budget, for healing from ureter leakage, for a successful surgery and speedy recovery of a dialysis patient who met with an accident to undergo two to three surgeries, for persons suffering from paralysis with brain hemorrhage, relapse of blood cancer and urine tract infection, leg burning and bleeding continuously, diabetes, b blood pressure, vertigo, piles, knees, kidney, various types of cancers, gallbladder stones, Alzheimer's, lungs infection, TB, hypertension, varicose veins, acidity, stomach pain cramps and gripes, leg pain and back pain. Now in our prayers, O Mother of Perpetual Succor, behold me, a miserable sinner, at thy feet. I have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of Mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee call by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Succor me for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch forth thy hand to me, a poor sinner, who recommend and dedicate myself to thee. As, as thy perpetual servant. servant. I bless and thank God for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee, the pledge as I believe of my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen because I had not recourse to thee. I know that with thy help I shall conquer. I know that thou wilt help me if I recommend myself to thee. But, but I fear lest in occasion of falling, falling I should I cease to call upon thee, thee and, so and so should lose my soul. This, this then is a grace I seek from thee, and I beg of thee as far as I know how and can to obtain, to obtain it for me, namely, namely the source of hell, always, always to have recourse to thee, and, and to say to thee, O Mary, help me, Mother of Perpetual Succor, suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, succor, succor the miserable, help the faint-hearted, faint cheer those that weep, pray, pray for, for the people, be the, be the advocate of the clergy, clergy. Intercede, intercede for, for all devout women. women. Let, Let all feel thine, thine aid, who implore, implore thy perpetual succor. Thou hast been made for us, O Lady, a refuge. A helper, need and tribulation. Let us pray, O Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ who, has who has given us thy Mother, Mother, Mother Mary, whose, whose wondrous image we venerate, to be our Mother, ever ready to succor us. Grant, grant we beseech thee that we, who earnestly implore her maternal aid, may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit, the fruit of, of thy redemption, redemption who, lives who lives and reigns world without, without end. Mother dear, oh pray for me, whilst far from heaven am thee, I wander in a fragile bark, oh
so bright in bliss above protect thy child and cheer my path with thy sweet smile of love mother dear oh pray for me and I love and bless I share announcement and preaching snake bojan a freshly cooked vegetarian meal will be served every wednesday from 8 pm to 9 pm in the smrc hall all those who would like to volunteer in cooking serving and cleaning are welcome donations for the same can be made at the shrine office The sacrament of confession will be held every Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. on the first floor above the drill hall. All Catholics can avail of the same. Kindly keep your mobile on silent mode. Please do not speak on a mobile in the church. In case of any emergency, kindly step out of the church to attend to the call. Please take care of your personal belongings and do not leave them unattended. my dear sisters and brothers there is a story told of two resident monks who lived amicably together in a monastery they had a great rapport a great friendship was always there between them and then came along a visiting monk to the monastery the visiting monk was taken along to the villages to for begging for alms and for also for preaching and so the visiting monk became very popular because of his preaching and then there a sudden desire rose in his heart to remain in that monastery permanently permanently but well, there was nothing wrong in his desire to stay in the monastery but then he had an evil intention he wanted the other two resident monks to leave the monastery and so he hatched, hatched a plot a plot wherein he began to sow seeds of lies to disunite the two resident monks he began to tell one monk you get one monk against the other and very slowly the two resident monks who lived so amicably together for so many years begin to become suspicious of each other so much so that they begin to quarrel violently finally they decided to leave the monastery the visiting monk was very happy that his scheme came to life he was able to get them out he pretended to bring to reconcile them to one another but internally he didn't want that and soon finally the two resident monks left the monastery after many years the two resident monks happened to meet in a different monastery by chance and there they were not talking initially but the elder monk went on to the younger monk mustered some courage and told the younger monk why did you say something this bad things about me and he said i did not say it in fact you said something wrong about me and very soon when they begin to talk to each other uh, they realized that it was the visiting monk who sowed the seeds of disunity among them they came hand in hand to the old monastery and when the visiting monk happened to see the two resident monk coming back he realized his game was up he fled from that place my dear sisters and brothers we may not be guilty or rather to stoop so low to cause conflicts and disharmony but we may be guilty of backbiting of gossip and idle talk i would like to begin by pointing out something very significant in a way in which our creator our lord designed the human head he created in us seven openings two eyes two ears two nostrils but when he came to the mouth he restricted to only one well this one mouth of ours creates more problems than all the other openings put together and it's interesting to note that when you look at this subject of mouth the words but things like mouth tongue lips speech and so on you will see how much the bible has to speak on this topic and 
with good measure there are many passages in scripture that talks about the vital importance of using your tongue very judiciously i would like to quote one of them psalm 34 verse 11 to 13 it says come my children listen to me i will teach you the fear of the lord whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good things days keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies your lips from speaking lies the inspired word of god my sister and brothers is is kind of teaching us something here the fear of the lord now what is this fear of the lord is not talking about fear in terms of god going to punish us so i need to be careful of god is going to do this good do that from young age sometimes we are brought up with the wrong teaching wrong theology saying god punishes us if we commit any sin it is it is far from the truth my sister and brothers the word of god says god pours his rain on the good as well as the bad so never for a moment think that god is punishing us for what we are going to write now in our lives never 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 okay so very very clear here the fear of the lord you are referring to here is a reverential fear which means i have to first thing i want to do when i get up every morning is to please god my offering to god is god show me how can i please you how can i revere you to my word to my deeds that's that is what the bible is referring to reverential fear a, this, this desire in our hearts to please god to give him pleasure that's the fear of the lord and if we have this fear of the lord my sisters and brothers we will have the fullness of life we will have the fullness of life we'll see very clear clearly here in the scripture keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies if you can keep our tongues from evil evil talk and lips from speaking lies then we'll we'll move on to the fullness of the lord that's the promise in his word the promise in his word again psalm 13 verse 3 says he who guards his soul he who guards his lips sorry he who guards his lips guards his soul but he who speaks rashly will come to ruin will come to ruin if you guard your lips or you are guarding your soul but if you speak rashly my sisters and brothers you will come to ruin and it is calamity many of us may have gone through this experience we have said words when we are ang- when we are angry you know uh, things that did not uh, they did not mean but then the damage that was done was terrible today we are invited my sisters and brothers in this navina to look into deeply into our lives reflect and see if we have been rash with our words remember we are created in the image and likeness of god and because we are created in the image and likeness of god our words have power have power to create to build up and power to destroy my sisters and brothers with your words we can destroy people our loved ones friends neighbors colleagues at a workplace be careful in how you are using your words choose your words wisely do not speak when you are angry remember the word of god says the word of god says in in proverbs 18 verse 21 death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it those who love it will eat its fruit death and life are in the power of the tongue a mother or a father who calls his son from small age good for nothing throughout his years will actually become a good for nothing because your words have power you have built up you have created something in your son that was not supposed to be there by your words you have brought hell and 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 horror in his life in this navina let us ask the lord the grace to reign over our tongues use our tongue to praise god to honor him and to worship him amen remember are all together remember o most gracious virgin mary that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession was left unaided inspired with this confidence i fly unto you o virgin of virgins my mother to you i come before you i stand sinful and sorrowful o mother of the word incarnate despise not my petitions but in your mercy hear and answer me amen
Merciful Lord, whose mercies are without number and whose goodness is without end, you abide with your people in wondrous manner and are with us all days even to the end of time. By your kindly presence, direct our minds with your guiding love, watch over our paths. With your powerful help, deliver us from every tribulation, from all danger and sin that we may on earth always live with you and in you and in your eternal dwelling enjoy your presence forever amen. amen blessing of the sick our help is in the name of the lord who made heaven and earth lord hear my prayer let my cry come unto you the lord be with you and with your spirit let us pray grant we beseech to your lord god that these thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of blessed mary ever virgin be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through christ our lord amen May the Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you, to defend you within you, to preserve you before you, to guide you after you, to guard you above you, to bless you, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. To the intercession of our Mother Perpetual Succor, may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Mary from thy secret with those eyes so sadly sweet mother of perpetual succor see us kneeling at thy feet in thy arms thy child thou bearest so so for thy joy and what thy bliss, how deep thy sorrows, Mother Thou alone canst know. Let us bow in adoration to this sacrament so great. Here is new and worship all the old must dominate senses cannot grasp this marvel faith must serve to compensate glory honor and One accord, praise be God, Almighty Father, praise be Christ, His Son, our Lord, praise be God, the Holy Spirit, triune Godhead, we adore. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament you have left as a memorial of your passion, grant that we may so reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that the taste of the fruit of your redemption may ever be within us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. divine praises all together blessed be god blessed be his holy name blessed, blessed be jesus christ, christ true god and true man, and true man. Blessed, blessed be the name of jesus blessed, blessed be his most sacred heart blessed be his most precious blood blessed be jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar blessed be the holy spirit the paraclete 
Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be your holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be Saint Joseph, Mary Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and in His saints. Mother dear, is Mother fairest, help our fool who call on Thee. Virgin pure, is brightest rarest, help us help, we cry to Thee. Mary help us help, we pray. Mary help us help, we pray. Help us in poor care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help in pain and sorrow. So those rat on bed of pain. May the good delight of morrow bring them help and joy again. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help our priests, our sisters lowly. Help our poor, long may he reign. Pray that we who sing thy praises may in him all meet again. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help the absent loved ones. How we miss their presence here. May the help of thy protection guard and guide them far and near. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.